When the pressure round, bitches fall quick. 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 When the pressure round. Whatever, this your girl Rocky B. Fuck my STD trade. I already know. When the pressure round, bitches fall quick. Nain good in any hood. I can come back. Rap, don't copy back. Run it. Why these hoes line? Y'all ain't never wear no guns at. My father bought that action. Hey, you little bitches run back. Asking what it mean. Bragging about shit. Cheat. I can never fear it, bitch. With synthetic ass weed. Bitches really talking. Tell us a little bit about you, Rocky B. Well, I'm from the West Side. 21. Um, I've been rapping since I was like six, but of course my mom was there before then, but I don't think that count. So, um, I'm with okay. You say since about six, then so you you had it in you for a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I always was a writer. Okay. So that, that that's how you started off. You started off writing. Yeah. Like was it was it poems? Did you always write rap? I always wrote songs, okay. even if I couldn't sing them. Like I always wrote music, so I always found something. Like if I couldn't do it, I'd find somebody else to do it. So. Okay. Did you have any musical influence? Were your parents writers? Yeah, my mama. She always was. Like she wrote poems and you know like how she was feeling. My daddy he was a rapper, so of course that's why I really picked it up from. But as far as writing, like I think that was just like on both sides. That's what's up. That's what's up. When did you like really start rapping? Like start considering yourself like an actual rapper? Sixth grade, I wrote a rap and. The whole sixth grade, like anybody else in the sixth grade, they all knew it. You know, it was like, it tripped me out because everybody was like placing where I said my name and was saying their name. So I'm like, mm. at first I'm like, no, you don't say that. But I'm like, I'm like, okay, this is real. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Did you find Did you find it hard to, hard to create a name for yourself? Yeah. You did. Yeah. I went through a point where I was changing my nickname and rap name from, you know, like a couple names, I can't say, but, you know, I was going back and forth picking names, but I ended up getting a nickname, and I, that's the name that I ended up running with. What's up? What are, what are some of your big, biggest musical influences? Boy. <laughs> Damn near everybody, for real. But, <laughs> um, honestly, a lot of people that really did music, like we was listening to, from rappers to singers, from Erica Badu, from Rakim to Tupac to Lauren Hill, like everybody. Like I was listening to. Her. I, don't, I don't really like name drop because I <laughs> forget names, but. Everybody. So yeah, a little bit yeah, of everybody. Yeah, some everybody for real. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. A lot of not, a lot of people don't, don't have that different flavor right, in there, you know. Right. Yeah. That's what's some up. Sure. That's what's up. What do you feel feel like separates Rocky B from the rest of rest of female artists? One and then artist period. What do you feel separates you? What separates me? Cause I'm I'm Rocky. Like. It ain't, it ain't too many people like me. Like, I, I'm me. Like, I don't really care about no image. I don't really care about no following. Like, if you rock with me, you're going to rock with me. If you don't, then that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I speak on a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't want to speak on. Or I rap about something that a lot of people would be like, they scared to rap about. You know what I'm saying? But it's life. Like, whatever. I really don't care. <laughs> that's what's that was up. Good. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. I'm gonna switch lanes a little bit, man. Okay. Tell the people a little bit about you growing up, man. You know what? What, what was it like growing up for Rocky B? What was your childhood like? Oh man. Mm. 
hard, honestly. Like, it was a point of time where, you know, we was all over the place. I was, I was like, we, we never stayed in one area or stayed in one house. Like, we stayed moving around the city or stayed around. Like, I didn't even moved out the city, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I do real life shit, but I feel like that's what made me rocky, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been everywhere. Period. Not everywhere, but I don't know a lot of places. That's what I'm saying. Where are some places that you that you would say had the biggest impact on you? Of course, where, I, where I'm from, I would. Grant. Of course, I'm always there because yeah. that's what helped put me together. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. Everywhere I done, wherever I done moved to, like, I didn't learn so much from wherever I was ever at, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. whether I was on the west side or the east side or fucking Indiana, whatever, I picked up something from it, you know what I'm saying? So, every, wherever I moved had an impact, like, it played some type of part. So, what, <clears throat> you say you off Linwood, man, I, I, I got people off Linwood, what, what area of Linwood you off of? No, what am what? Glenwood Ave, the whole Ave. Say the whole Ave. <laughs> the whole Ave. Look, no, I'm playing though. Um, between Davidson and Claremont. Okay. That's where I was born. Okay. But I grew up on Grass Street. Okay. That's where my house is still to this day. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 my people was down a little further. We was down uh, Philadelphia, yeah. Euclid area. See, I stayed on Philadelphia, but. I don't really count it, because, like, by that time, it was, like, that was the zone, so, like, mm -hmm. that's what area I was in, so. That's what's up. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite thing to do when you're alone, man? My favorite thing to do when I'm alone? I think, honestly, like, when I'm alone, like, if I'm around a lot of people, I don't really, I mean, I think, of course, but... I don't really be able to like think the way I want to. You know what I'm saying? I'm by myself, like it's just me. So that's when I go in and rock it for real. Like I don't know. Take whatever, yeah, like whatever I'm <laughs> feeling like if I feel like plotting on the way to how I'm about to do something, then you know, ain't nobody around me to tell me I can't do it or ain't nobody around me like that's a bad idea, you know what I'm saying? Like it's that's what I mean, so that's when I'm alone, that's what I really do for real. Think. Like, whatever I, whatever I, whatever I'm going through for real, like, I'm like, all right, I can think about that. What would you say is your favorite hip-hop era? 90s. 90s? Yeah. 90s? Yeah. 90s. Yeah, that's why, man, I was listening to Eminem, of course. <laughs> Hey, um, Lauren Hill, Rakim, um, Lil Jay Z, whoever was popping at that time, or the like, even mom was playing them. Like, mom was like a big help for real. Like, you know, like even now, she'd play a, a old song and be like, "Who is this?" And I'd be on it like, "I gotta know who that is." You know what I'm saying? Like. Or if I don't, she'd be like, you need your ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be having to know exactly who it is, like right in and there. So whoever was popping back then, you know what I'm saying? I, not even popping because, you know, KRS one, not saying he wasn't popping. But, you know, I was listening to everybody. Everybody. I never stayed to just one person. Or just one job. You know? What would you say is your most memorable performance? No, you got, no, you, I know you got a couple yeah, of them on in your building. I know oh you got God, no, I ain't gonna lie. My mom's a member uh, <laughs> He's so irritating. No, the one I just recently did um, was Tammy Lee performance. And that was at St. Andrews. And that was like, yeah, because. I never like had a whole crowd go crazy off of music. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been on stage for like a little dance contest or something like that. But as 
far as like me performing and like everybody like rocking with me and going crazy like that was like the the biggest crowd so far that i had where it was like everybody was like rocking with me so that was like when i got off stage it was like one of those moments where i was like i did that you know what i'm saying so yeah, What's some goals you got for 2016, man? I had a lot of goals, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I've been trying to hit all them bitches every year. <laughs> <laughs> but 2016, my main goal right now is to just not be where I was at 2015. Like, um, yeah, sure. whatever I can do different to get me a little bit closer to where I need to be, like, damn, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping if I don't get all the way there, but as long as I'm closer than what I was last year, then I'm cool. What's up? What does rap mean to you, man? Everything. Everything. I done had jobs and I was working and like, no, I cannot do this. Like, what? Coming up with bars, like, no, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Rap is everything. Like, I really. Don't see myself doing nothing outside of music right now. Like, I know how to do other shit, but I don't want to. Like, rap is what I want to do. For sure. So, I, so, so, I, obviously, you, 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 would you say like rap is your true passion? Yeah. Okay. So, what, what drives your passion? Like, what, what really gets you? Going, going with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what really pushes you to go out and do it every My day? My family. And just all the time that I spent pushing to be where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I did too much to be where I'm at right now to just be like, I don't want to be no rapper no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really took a lot of sacrifices and dedicated like a lot of time into being a rapper so it's like i give up now you know what i'm saying and then like my support system is so crazy like not even just my family like not even just friends it's people that i don't even know you know what i'm saying they like all the way behind you know what i'm saying like that's just a good feeling and it's just like i don't want to let them down at all like so that's what helped me keep going because i'm like i know it's gonna pay off eventually how do you feel about today's music in comparison to old school music? And when I say old school, I mean like more so, more so nineties. Like we, we talking hip hop. Right. Um, honestly, I mean music changed. It's somewhat still the same, you know. But we got those people who. You know, I mean, that goes with, you know what they're doing, but for the most part, I mean, it's still the same, hip-hop, hard, hip-hop, a lot of shit is recycled, a lot of shit is, you know, trash, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a little bit of both, like, it's still the same. Oh, for sure. It ain't dead, though. So it ain't dead? No. It ain't dead. Okay. What projects do you have out here, man? What can the people expect from Rocky B? Right now, I got a couple singles, a couple freestyles out right now. Um, what they can expect from me is a lot. Right now, what I'm doing right now, that's just, that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of stuff that's on the way, but I don't really like speaking on it too much because it's like, I don't want to tell y'all oh, this was coming, you know what I'm saying, and shit happened, so just expect a lot more for whatever y'all been seeing. That's what's up. What's your biggest motivation? My biggest motivation is my life, like how the way I'm living right now. I ain't comfortable. I don't like it. Honestly. So, that's what, that's what helped me, like, right like, now, I gotta keep going, so I ain't comfortable. Is that a good answer? No, that's a good answer, that's a good answer. Just focus on what I'm doing right now. So, so if, if somebody wanted to, wanted to get at Rocky B, what, what, what would they have to do, man? What would be the first, first thing they had to do? 
Just give him, just give him, just deal. give him a little, just give him a little bit. Man. Be my friend. Be a real motherfucker. Like just. Be a friend, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Easy, like, we we got that one under the back. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real though, like, <laughs> just just be a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's that's up. Right now, honestly. That's what's up. That's what's up. When you when you do look, man, what what do you look for in an individual? Um, their personality. Cause I don't really click with too many people. I'm like I, I'm cool, but I don't really click with too many people. And like I don't know, like I don't, I don't know. It's different. It all depends. Like it's different. I can, I can't really answer that question because it's different. It's real different. I don't know. It all depends on who they is. If I'm feeling you, then I'm feeling you, but. It might take you some time. I don't know. Okay. okay. I can't really answer that one. <laughs> that was a hard one. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do, man? My favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do as of right now is, of course, write. Um, my favorite thing to do is be around people that I know got my best interests. Like, that's my favorite thing to do right now. Like, cause I'm at a point where I'm not really around a lot of people who I, I be around a lot of people, but I be around people that they they I, I don't really be long, You know what I'm saying? So whenever I do get a chance to be around people that I know, like they got my best interests. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what I like doing. I like being around people that I know that fuck with me or support me for real or love what I do or love me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, like, the best for me right now. Okay. Give the people one surprising fact, man. Just some, some wild shit Rocky today, ah. man. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, give me, give, um. give, give, give us a little juice, man. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta make sure I ain't, I got <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. What am I willing to put out there right now? <laughs> what you want to know? <laughs> hey, the juiciest. Uh, the juiciest. Oh man, you gotta give me an idea. Like what right. name? She's like, oh, yeah. I mean, shit. I, it's not that I'm gay. I like what I like. If you just happen to be a girl, then hey. Okay. Okay. But is that what? <laughs> right, why you trying to tell me, Tom? <laughs> so tell the people, man, what's your sexual preference, Rock? Oh. <laughs> um, well, I don't, I'm not into labels. I want to say I'm bisexual because I don't talk to boys and girls at the same time. So if I got a girlfriend, I'm with a girl. If I'm with a boy, I'm just with a boy. But, However, if I'm single, then don't be surprised if I just say it's fair game. Yeah, like right, like I don't like that. Like, don't, oh, I thought you was gay, no, bitch. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So, okay. what, what, what? what are you looking for either one right now? Or are you just no? Yeah. <laughs> so. I know I ain't mean to say it like that, but <laughs> right now. When I talk to people, I get distracted. And I, I don't got no room for distractions right now. Like, I really, I'm at a point where I'm young right now. And it's like, but I'm looking for everybody ain't looking for right now. So it's like, I'm cool with knowing what I want, but I don't know right now. Mm, what you looking for? <laughs> what are you looking for? What am I looking for? Ugh. Money. 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 Yeah, like, you know, looking for something better right now. Better than what's going on right now. Like, it's cool to have somebody, but as of right now, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. So, 
I know you said said you you when when you date, you know, if you do, if you got a girlfriend, you got a girlfriend. If you got a boyfriend, you got a boyfriend. But I'm sure pl plenty of people want to know, like, are, would would you be open to, you know, a, you know, a party a party? No, <laughs> I'm so selfish. I'm a Taurus. Fuck no. So no. you stand. I'm stingy as fuck. Period. Like if I fuck, fuck you. If I fuck with one person, like I don't ever want to see you talking to nobody, nobody else touching you. I don't give a fuck if I'm included. No, it's just not happening. And I, I don't know. Maybe I gotta grow up some. I don't know. I, I, just, I can't rock with it right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm too jealous. Like way um. too jealous. So you stand you with that. Stingy as fuck. I'm very territorial. I don't like that at all. That's no. Hilarious. No. What? That's... <laughs> uh, what is your biggest fear? Biggest fear besides spiders. <laughs> um, my biggest fear is actually like dying. Honestly, like, I which I know like it's gonna happen, so that shouldn't be a fear. But outside of that, like, it's a fear because I rather like I I don't know I rather be comfortable with dying once I get my people where they need to be. You know what I'm saying? Like as of right now, like that's a big ass fear. I, like I can't die right now. <laughs> like I got somewhere to be. I got I got a lot of people I gotta help. That's my biggest fear right now, like, it's dying. I don't want that right now. I don't speak on that neither. I know you got wood down here too. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you, you good, man. I'm right. gonna make sure you get up out of here today. <laughs> <Right. laughs> That's what's up. How do you feel about being a new female artist of the game, man? And what, what do you bring to the game that's different? No shade, but what I bring is different. I speak on me. I know that's different. Everybody, they can't nobody speak on what I've seen or what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I I would rather. I'd be more comfortable about speaking about. Like, I ain't ashamed or embarrassed about nothing that I've ever been through or went through or seen in life. Like, And I'm cool with speaking on that in my music. So I know that that's different because... Can't nobody speak on that. So. Okay. What's the biggest thing that you had to overcome? Man? The biggest thing I ever <sighs> Bouncing back from a car accident. Like a nerve fatal car accident. Like that was the biggest thing ever. Ever. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, long story short. He got hit on purpose. And I ended up running to the nigga that actually hit me. And, you know, like, most people would ask me, like, what happened to your arm? You know what I'm saying? I'd tell them, like, oh, I'm going cry saying, you know, it'll blow past. But the way, like, he was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, oh, I'm so, it was just like, I knew something wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? And long story short, he ended up being the person that hit us, but like it was hard because I went from being able to do everything on my own to I had to learn how to walk again. Like I had like over seven, eight surgeries, fucking metal plates, seven screws in my arm, broken ribs, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that that was hard. Like. Yeah, you know, once you leave the hospital and you at home, it's like back to real life. Like, damn, what am I supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't do shit with my right arm for like a whole year. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was hard. That's why I ended up getting tattoos and shit like that. Like, I couldn't write. Like, that shit fucked with me. Like, especially when I'm the type of person that all I do is write. You know what I'm saying? So, that was... How many tests you got? Close to 
to 40. Damn. <laughs> That's it. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it right now. Um, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't regret my tattoos, but some of them I just be like, why did you do this? <laughs> but, like I said, it was a point of time where I couldn't write, so I used to just go get a tattoo. So we getting to the end, man. First off, tell, tell everybody man, how to get in touch with you and everything, you know. On Instagram, you can follow me at underscore underscore rocky dot b. Everything spells all right. And just the b. Um, um, Facebook, Rocky Bad with two b. On Twitter, underscore underscore rocky b. But everything kind of pretty much the same thing. If you want to email me, book at rocky bad with two b at gmail dot com. But I try to keep everything on the same thing, so it's not hard to really find. You know what I'm saying? And however you DM me or inbox me, you know, it, that really got a big effect. But I, I, I read them and I definitely respond to a lot of stuff. Sacrifice a lot of shit just to rap. A lot of shit just to rap. They don't know how many nights I stayed up on my grind just so I can get it back. Just so I can get it back. They like Rocky. They like Rocky. What you waiting on? They like Rocky. What you waiting on? They like Rocky, what you waiting on? They like Rocky, what you waiting on? They don't know about the life.